We're just uh, so flattered to have the support of our friends and our sponsors uh, in support of our educational programs, which we're going to be expanding this year, and most especially doing a lot of free screenings all around the country uh, in ballparks, also in the greater communities to hit as many people as we can to save as many lives as we can. Oh, I've been blessed to, uh, to be cancer free and a survivor. Uh, and then to be chairman of the board of Ed Randall's Fans for the Cure, which is the preeminent uh, prostate cancer awareness foundation. We're in over 160 minor league parks and another 25 major league parks each year. Getting men to talk about you know, the single deadliest men's killer, and that's prostate cancer. Where it is is hopefully on the home stretch. There's been a lot of money raised. There's been a lot of caring that's been given. And I'm hoping in my lifetime, and it's 2017, and I've been wishing this for 15 years, that we can find cures. And we're, we're gaining on prostate cancer, and that's a good thing. I always know that this is a great event because that combination and also the awareness that most of men out there might not be aware of, of just go get checked. You know the story. We hear it. You hear about friends. I think we all know somebody who's had prostate cancer. And... Uh, how could you not want to help? Ed's been in, in, in baseball for you know all these years, and baseball is a, is a community. It's a family, and and Ed has really done his work with prostate cancer in in the baseball community, and and it, and it's just so cool because we're all interconnected without question. And anytime any of us have a problem, you know whether it's a personal problem, a family problem, or a financial problem, everybody seems to come together.